Sure, it's hot, but let's not moan about it. Let's be smart about how we care for our gardens now. And we've got some tips. Mow high. That could have several connotations in Colorado, but what I mean is set your mower to the highest setting. The longer the blade of grass, the more it shades the soil and prevents evaporation. It's most efficient to water in the early morning or the evening when there's less evaporation. And water really thoroughly. Let the water get all the way into the roots, not just the top inch. And no guessing. Invest in a moisture meter. This takes the guesswork out of it. Stress plants attract bugs, so make sure you have your bottle of soapy water handy. Of course, we want to combat Japanese beetles, but aphids and spider mites attack in heat. If you see an outbreak, and right now I see nary an outbreak, you want to make sure to spray the undersides of the leaves where they congregate. Some plants will fail in the heat. The lettuce and spinach is long gone. The calendulas are kaput, and the pansies are starting to fade. We were going to yank these today, but they're looking so good, we're going to give them a little reprieve. Maybe next week, we'll replace them with coleus. It's never too hot to plant coleus. This is a variety called stained glass that Rob grew from seed. The way the chartreuse and burgundy play off of each other is gorgeous. These white pansies really have had it. No amount of water or fertilizer or encouraging words will help. So off to the compost pile they go. And what I'll replace them with is some stained glass coleus and some of Rob's emergency geraniums. I love that Rob has emergency geraniums. I have emergency marigolds so that when the heat comes, I'm ready for replacement. And marigolds are my favorite, so I don't think you can ever have enough. Remember when we first brought the geraniums from out of the house and we trimmed back the leggy bits and we stuck the cuttings in soil? Well, here they are. Nice young plants ready to take over. Aw, these look great, Jennifer. Thank you so much. You know, the cool nights are the saving grace of gardening in Colorado. And as much as we enjoy the pansies, when it's hot, you can't beat coleus and geraniums and all this other stuff. But the cool nights give the plants a chance to revive, and the people too.